Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so welcome back to the video. So, pretty much I am playing Skyrim again, but this time it's not a walkthrough. Instead, it's a way to get some good gear in Skyrim. Now, this is technically cheating and being a little dickhead, you know, trying to get some good shit by cheating, but, you know, I don't really care, because, you know, you can do whatever you want in this game. But I'm going to show you real quick. So, just follow this path that, that I'm doing right now. Jump up here on this roof of this house. You might have to jump and run at the same time. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It just depends. And what you want to do is get up here. And then usually what I do is I quick save just in case I fall off or anything. And then try to get on top of these two uh, dragon heads. Or whatever the hell they are. I think they're dragon heads. But yeah, so pretty much you want to get on top of these dragon heads. It, it's sometimes it's hard to get up here, and then sometimes it's like really easy. They, I think they patched it a little bit to make it harder to get up here, but it's still possible to get up here. So like right here. Nope, oh, I collapsed. I fell. Hold up. Actually, now if I load, it'll uh, cut the footage. So never mind. I can't do that. So we'll just have to do it this way. But um. But yeah, if you're if you quick save then just load it and then you try again to jump up there. For me, I can't do that cuz I'm recording it with the clip from PlayStation. So when I do like loads or anything, it pauses the audio. Or it pauses the video or the footage or whatever and then it looks really shitty. So I'm just trying to do it all in one run. And there we go. And then if you do get up here, I highly recommend quick saving cuz you can fuck up like boom right there I fucked up um you know what I'll try to load real quick I don't know if it'll mess up the audio or anything we'll see I'll have to look at the footage later and see but yeah that's why I said the quick save because of that dumbass shit right there but there we go right here and then what you want to do is quick save again and then uh, be careful when you're going down because you might hit the ground too hard and then pretty much die but for me I you know I didn't hit it too hard I, I have also you make sure you have a bunch of healing on you just in case you do take a lot of damage but um so pretty much what you want to do is go on the outskirts of the map which then you can get out of which is what I'm doing now and there's a f chest which is a merchant chest in this game and you can get to it and you can pretty much pull out any weapon that you want. There's not sometimes it'll be like really good weapons, sometimes it'll be like the really shitty stuff in there. It just depends. And this is one way to make a lot of money in Skyrim. I don't do this a lot. I do it like once in a while if I'm like really, really low and I wanna buy like a really powerful sword. But mostly I have my alchemy skill, because the alchemy skill basically boosts all your um it boosts like your potions and all that stuff. And there's a uh, Valkus for the companions. And I'll probably make a video about the companions, which I think I already have. It's just I haven't really done much for the companions yet. So you want to go up here, and I I think it's here. Yeah, it's right here. And then you jump up on this rock right here, and then go to your right, and then just walk right through it. Sometimes there'll be like invisible walls. Just walk to your left, and then jump, and then press X, and then boom, here you go. Now just take whatever you want. I I take some stuff in here. I don't I don't usually take a lot. Like I'll take the, the arrows, um, more arrows. Um. I'll take the money, I'll take the ingots, the iron ore. Um, like I'll I'll just take pretty much anything in here really that's like really valuable for me. And then half the time I just leave the shit in here. Like this will do. This will be alright. And then there is dwarven stuff, it's heavy armor though, so I don't use that kind of shit. And then the cool thing about this too is, um, I'll, actually I'll show you in this as well, but once you do this, 
the stuff still is technically in their shop, even though you glitched out of the map and took their stuff. So, like, if I go talk to him now, all of that stuff will still be there, including the money I just pretty much a book took out of his uh, chest. And I'm pretty sure it's him out of all of them. Yeah, see, it's uh, a thousand gold still. And then pretty much you can just sell the stuff back to him if you want or whatever. It doesn't matter. Some of this stuff, like I said, I don't really care for. I just take and sell and whatever. Um, but yeah, I think he his ore resets, yeah. So, so I can buy the ore again. Well, I mean, I can buy the ore and then I can get the iron ingots if I want to make some armor, stuff like that, you know. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then I think if you put money into his, uh, like, if you sell stuff to him or buy stuff from him, it resets the money. So what you do then is you go back to that house, which is off in this direction. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's the magic? No, you shut the fuck up, sir, because I'm trying to get my gold ore. If you haven't seen my walkthrough, I'm trying to get a bunch of gold ore so I can level up my smithing skill, basically. But, um... So, yeah, just do the same thing again. Alright, I'll put my magic ore. I kind of cast a magic ore and jump the fuck up. But, um... So, you want to do the same thing again, jump up here. And then try to get back on top of the dragon heads. Yeah, I think they patched it, where, like, you can jump on it. Because I've seen people talk about it and stuff, but... I think you gotta go on the left and then jump as you're moving around and then it works. So like, yeah, and then it won't let you jump half the time too. Like, I'm spamming the triangle button because I'm, I'm playing on PlayStation, but it won't let me do it. So, I don't know, this game has some problems. Like, when the, the move sound does come out finally or eventually, they need to do some kind of shit to this game. They need to, well, they need to tweak it a lot. Or like, with the jump button. Like, right now I'm jumping and I'm like on a solid surface. It should allow me to jump now, but no, it, it doesn't do that. Alright. I'm gonna start off again. I'm trying to show you guys, but this does go with their fucking. Like, you can easily get back up here. Like, yeah, see, right there. And then, quick save. Jump and, um, like, yeah, right there, I almost died. But it's alright, I have a lot of health from pretty much leveling up. And I'll eventually show more on this on Skyrim. I just have to unlock the areas first, and then I have to remember which glitches were where. Because there's quite a few glitches in this game. There's like one where you can get this really rare item. And you don't even have to, like, do anything to get it. All you have to do is just do this one mission and then glitch the fuck out of it. And you have, like, a bunch of good items and duplicate it over and over again. And then I think you can sell it, but it glitches out and says you can't sell it, but you can. But, I don't know. Sometimes, like, Bethesda has to really work on their stuff in this game. resets and then just keep doing this over and over again and then eventually you get whatever you want in here so like now there's dwarven armor and it only reset because I went back in here um, let me see what else is in here I need no I think that's about it I could nah I was about to say I can take some of that actually I'll take the silver ingots because I need that all right, well. Let's just not be too Well, pretty much I think that's the end of the video, guys. So thanks for watching this tutorial or glitch or whatever. I don't know how I'm going to title this. Um, I think Skyrim how to get good gear or something and and pretty much that's the title of the video. So, yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you.